Hello once again guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Olu Tuoyi. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on the, on the link below. Um, so I have a little story to tell with a few take home messages. So uh, the story begins in 2015. I was doing my fourth year. So the year curriculum had ended early. So I was at home for like three months. So my mom would go to this church. Uh, there was a prophet there. So every day my mom would come back having revelation stories uh, about what had happened in, in the church. So I, I got interested to find out the real power that is possessed or the real power that the prophet had. Let me put it that way. So I was like, okay, one day, okay, mom, let's go to this church. I want to see what this pastor can do. So I went to the church. I was there the very first day. Okay. So the service goes on. Okay. The pastor does the things, you know. Um, okay. So I let me just fast forward. There came a time, okay, when he was casting out the demons, the demons out of people. So I was there. Eh, afraid for my own life thinking hey what if i have demons as well here so we would go from person to person person to person uh casting out the demons the demons would talk but in the voice of the person obviously um and then came a time whereby okay we, you know we all have to pray in church and we have to shout fire 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 you know and there i am thinking hey i don't really trust my prayers because it feels like they're not gonna reach up there in heaven so i'm there shouting fire as well yeah i'm like okay for the sake of my well-being i mean i don't want the demon to come out of that person and come to me so i should shout fire just in case you know uh but luckily for me i didn't have demons so that's a take home that was a take home for me at that moment. Okay, I don't have demons. Okay, fine. But I've seen the weird things that happen to other people. So when the service was ending, every day when the service would end, the, the prophet would lay hands on people, each and every one. So we'd form a line and walk towards the prophet. He'd pray for you, lay his hand on you, pray for you, and then you'd go back. And then the service would be over. So on that very first day, um, yeah, on that very first day, so it was when it, when it was my turn for the for the prophet to lay his hand on my head. Before he prays for me, he's like, uh, "See me after the service." I'm like, well, okay, at least I didn't have demons because he would cast them out. Then, then, but I'm like, okay, fine. And then he started praying for me. So I talked to my mom. I'm like, mom, okay. The prophet said I mustn't go home before talking to him. Uh, I should go after. I'm like, mom, okay, it's fine. We'll wait for you. Okay, fine. So he prays for everyone else. So I'm there waiting for him to finish this thing. Prays for everyone else. And then, yeah, it was our one-on-one -on -one session. So he said a, a lot of things, you know. Most of things were true. Most of the things were true. Some of them I didn't know then. Um, so that's when I started believing in this thing. Well, okay. Because he had mentioned things I didn't think he would know. And then he would ask some questions based on other things. And then I would answer. So two things I want to mention in this video amongst the things he told me. He said, one, uh, your friends are not good for you. I'm like, okay. What do you mean my friends are not good for me? But I didn't ask that question. But I'm asking myself, okay, what do you mean my friends are not good for me? I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here without those guys. I wouldn't have passed medical school easily. Or maybe, let me just say, I wouldn't have passed well, maybe, or it would have taken me long. Because, you know, friends do help. The study groups, the discussions, the social, psychology, psychosocial psychological support so psychosocial type of a thing friends do help in that regard so i don't regret having friends based on that um 
So that was number one, that my friends are not good for me. Number two, so he told me that I should never stop believing in my prayers. My prayers are powerful. So those are the two things I want to talk about today. Friends and believing in yourself. So fast forward to 2019, last year. So that's when my spiritual journey began. Um, okay, so there's this girl I was dating. So the relationship had come to an end. So she wrote why we were breaking up. And then... The ending line was okay that part that prophet then told me that no matter what happens no matter where i am i should never stop praying so that those were his words so those words were always playing at the back of my mind and then when my ex now were breaking up she, she wrote the whole thing yeah and then the closing line was uh, never stop praying. Okay, then, then, it clicked in my mind. Ish, yeah, ne? I was once told this thing by the prophet, and she knew about the prophet because we had, we had talked about it. I think, we, yeah, we were dating at the time. Um, so, that made me remember, but, oh, yes, yeah, there's that, Ganen. And I had stopped praying. Had I, well, had I stopped? Okay, yeah, I, I had started praying again but i wasn't as deep so those words made me remember but okay yeah i still have a journey and then fast forward to 2019 when my spiritual journey began um i started to learn a lot of things about myself started to learn a lot of things based on spirituality based on religion based on the origin of religion based on the origin of Christianity, the origin of the Bible, and all of th and all of those things. So that's how this thing began. But then, moral of the story is that, based on those two things I talked about, friendship and believing in yourself, I think maybe he didn't choose the right words to say it because at that point, at that moment didn't make sense to me why he would say that my friends are not good for me while i view my friends to be of you know significant importance to me but then i learned 2019 made me realize that actually my friends were good for me but at the same time i needed to learn myself i needed to find out who i am i needed to find out my own abilities i needed to you know really learn who i am and why i'm here so with friends around that wouldn't have been possible because i needed to be in isolation i needed to be on my own i needed to listen to my own thoughts you know i needed to feel lonely feel alone feel depressed and feel all of all of those things but it was for a purpose for me to eventually be comfortable in the fact that i'm alone because for my internship i was placed alone all of my other friends were placed in, the, like, they were together in different places. But for me, I was all alone in that town called Ladysmith. Yeah, ne? So I got to learn a lot about myself there. And that's when, that's where my spiritual journey began. And it, it grew quite well because I was alone. I could listen to myself. I could discover myself. I started, I stopped doing many things and focused on, you know, this thing called me myself so i think he had chosen the wrong words or maybe they weren't wrong but i needed to learn from that statement to say that sometimes yes friends are good but sometimes you need to be alone you need to find out who you truly are you need to find out your abilities you need to find the ability to say no when you want to say no the ability to learn to say yes and no, you know, in different situations. But for me, it was more of a connection to my spirituality and who I am. So that's how I got to learn about a lot of things based on spirituality, based on who I am. And yeah, so that's lesson number one. Point number two, believing in yourself. So the, the prophet didn't say that... Um, I needed to, how do I put this? He didn't say that I needed, I should, okay, he didn't say that no matter what happens, 
I should never stop believing in him and casting out the demons out of people. I should never stop believing in his church. I should never stop believing in a church or going to a priest or whatever. Or I should never stop believing in prayers of other people. He specifically said that I should never stop believing in my prayers because they are powerful. So at that point, I'm like, yeah, nah, I was just praying just now, shouting fire and I wasn't really in that thing, you know. So he didn't say that. But what he saw was a true being, a, a true ability that I, I hadn't recognized. So if you are born with that, you're born with it. Doesn't mean to say that um, you don't have that ability. You are born with it, but you just have to, you know, embrace it. You just have to let it grow, bring it, let it grow, bring it up and let it show, you know. So he was like, uh, I should never stop believing in my prayers. I think... The greatest lie that I can tell you right now, the one lie that I can tell you and then which can actually turn out to be true and then it would actually grow you is if I would tell you right now that if I can lie with, with, with your mental state right now and tell you that, Ish, yeah, your prayers are powerful, never stop praying, you'd be like, yeah, no, but I, 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 yeah, maybe my prayers are, pow are powerful. So once once someone starts telling you that, in a way you start believing in yourself that, yeah, maybe my my prayers are powerful. But then at, th at this moment that I tell you that your prayers are powerful, I'm lying because I don't know how powerful your prayers are. But once you start believing in your prayers, they actually turn out to be powerful, you know, because... Prayers are what believe most. Whatever you believe in, whatever you do, you have to believe in it. If you don't believe in it, it doesn't happen. So if I tell you right now that your prayers are powerful, then you start believing in it. And then it becomes true, you know. But then he was a prophet, so he could see that I have these abilities from birth. But I believe that we all have, I mean, we all have these abilities as people. We all have, I mean, they always say that, umlomiyadala, which is words are powerful words have the ability to make or destroy so that's what it means so a anyone has that ability you know which is why they say that you must count your words mark your words um so yeah so that's the second second um second lesson from this is that you must always believe in your in your prayers so if you don't believe in your prayers or whatever it is in your life right now the essence of repetition consistency that's when you get to you know believe in yourself that's when you get to be build on those aspects of your life so he didn't say that i must forever you know go to a church or believe in a pastor or a prophet or whatever he said i should believe in myself so that's when i started believing in my own prayers because he said they were powerful so if he says that my prayers are powerful why would i need other another person's prayer you know not to say that we don't need other people's prayers, but if you start to believe in your own prayers, I think that's a good start and it's good enough. And then when you bring on board other people's prayers, you know, it becomes even better because I mean, even now, to make it to make a to make to make a you know, an example, we law we we're on lockdown, you know, you can't go to church, you can't go to your pastor or your prophet. You are at home. You can't go to church. You can't go to anyone. So does this mean that if this lockdown would extend up to a year, for an entire year when you are just there, you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in your own prayers, for a year you're waiting for someone else to pray for you, for you to be revived again, an entire year, imagine that. So it this goes to say that um, the church should be in your heart it should be you you should be the church you should be your own pastor your own prophet in that regard of prayer you know because at the end of the day we're gonna grow up if you're still growing you're gonna have kids if you don't have kids but at the at, at the very end you are going to be their role model look at how <clears throat> we perceive our parents as being role models 
and we believe in their prayers you know so if you don't start believing in your own self true self right now yeah it's gonna take a while for you to actually wake up and then believe in you know in your own abilities so those are the two take-home messages i i took from that that yeah maybe i maybe i would think that he was lying then but yeah he's a prophet he could see you know but even though now i'm not a prophet but i do believe that everyone has that ability you know you just need someone to tell you that in fact you don't even need someone to tell you that your prayers are powerful you just have to believe it yourself the two lessons are that uh friends may not necessarily be bad for us but we need to be alone i mean i still love my friends you know i i wouldn't i wouldn't throw my friends away but i'm glad that i got a chance to be alone and then learn a lot of things and lesson number two is the fact that you should believe in your own self you know believe in your own abilities don't wait for someone else to bring you up start and then someone else will recognize and then maybe help you so that's my advice contribution because this is based on me it's based on what has worked for me it's based on how i've grown myself i i didn't put my hands on the on i didn't put my life sorry on the hands of another person i've i've done it myself and i continue doing it on a daily you know yeah i need guidance there and there from time to time but it should never be about someone else it should always be about me so um if you feel like someone else needs to hear this maybe you can share the video but yeah thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe see you on other videos thank you